Hi, let's talk about the relationship of higher education access with final marks in a core chemical engineer topic. This is a multidisciplinary team from two higher institutions, five members from the ISEP, Porto, and two from School of Engineering, University of Minho Guimarães, all from Portugal. The main objective was to infer about the relationship between higher education access grades and the academic success in a core competences fluid mechanics in a chemical engineering degree, fluid transfer system, or in other words, the flu. The data used to fulfill the objective were not only the final marks of each student in the flu curricular unit and the corresponding access mark, but also student perception gathered from a questionnaire developed for that purpose. The questionnaire intended to collect the student perception regarding teaching learning techniques and assessment methodologies. Data updated from the last two academic years, 1617 to 1920, were considered in a total sample of 20, uh, uh, 222 students. This number represents around 92% of the total number of the enrolled students. In this sample, the majority was female students with age between 19 to uh, 48, with an average of 20 years old. A large majority of the students, around 96%, uh, attended the course in the daytime classes and the remaining enrolled in the after working classes. From, from the four academic years, it was found a significant difference in the final marks uh, of uh, 1920, where in average was obtained the highest value. It is important to emphasize that in all these academic years, the assessment methodology was the same. The figure shows the attendance per percentage in a theoretical class along the semester weeks on the last two academic years of 1819 and 1920 based on enrolled students. We can, we can observe that students attend more when assessment moments occur. As theoretical class are not mandatory, students tend to skip this type of teaching format when they presume it is not profitable for them. This is evident from the low attendance in weeks with no assessment. Comparing the year 1819 with 1920, the attendance of two class of this type of class with no assessment is higher in the last year, as we can see here in uh, red lines. Based on the simple linear regression, it will be possible to establish how the access to higher education influences the Stuflu final marks. In other words, to know if a linear equation can be used to predict Stuflu final marks based on student access grade to higher education. Based on the data obtained for the two last academic years, the trend is that the flu final mark changed in the same direction as the access grades to higher education. That is, both show a positive correlation with the academic year of uh, um, nine, 1920 data that show a moderate positive and significant correlation. It must point out that uh, uh, is in this last academic year where students received the highest mark in average. So, so it could be said that students who obtain higher access grade to higher education may receive also higher to full final marks. It can, it can be noted that the linear regression line for the 1920 has a growth profile tendency nearby parallel to the line defined where the both variables are equal. The goal of this study was to infer about the relationship between student access grade to higher education in an engineering course and the academic success in the core topic in chemical engineering study, fluid mechanics. There is a positive trend between access grade to higher education and full final marks for the two academic years analyzed, with a significant correlation for the last academic year of 1920. So, it could be said that students who obtain higher access grades to higher education may receive 
also a highest to flu final mark. Based on the questionnaire, results shows that, on average, students have a negative perception concerning one single moment of evaluation, being in agreement with the idea that evaluation through problems and small tests is beneficial to their learning and preferring several problems and small tasks during theoretical class. Also, that the solution to better learning and future professional performance is not by increasing the number of assessment, but in diversification of the type of methodology of assessment. As a consequence of this study, all and all prior actives, a team-based learning methodology will be introduced in the new academic year. Thank you.